Ho, ho, ho. All I want for Christmas is you. Welcome back, guys. This is Daniel from Second Chance Love, and I am so excited, as always, to be back with another haul. So for today's video, I'm going to be highlighting a Shop With Me session from my Arizona trip that I took on Halloween weekend. So I'm very excited to share that and show you some of the things that I did end up picking up in Arizona. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the lovely formalities. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when my videos drop weekly. Make sure to hit subscribe so you are on Santa's good list. And if you aren't following me on social media, I welcome you to follow me on Instagram and you can find me under second underscore chance underscore love and i'm just so happy because this is going to be a haul that's christmas if you guys are keeping up with me on instagram then you know that i am on the lookout for some amazing christmas decor and i am just inspired so so inspired by shiny bright doggo if you aren't following them on instagram and on youtube i definitely recommend that you follow them they are an amazing duo of thrifting like a vintage Halloween and Christmas items and so much more. So I was so inspired to try and find some myself and I am very happy because I'll be showing a few videos within the next few weeks of my Christmas finds. But without further ado, let's go ahead and enjoy this shop with me session straight from Arizona. Hi guys, me and the hubby here. As you guys remember, we are taking a little trip to Arizona for the Halloween weekend. So I am here and we're here ready to shop. We're gonna hit up a lot of stores we're seeing over the weekend and I'm excited because my main goal is to try and find a lot of um, holiday vintage decor. So that's my mindset is set on just doing Christmas because I already have a lot of Halloween so I don't want to do any more Halloween unless I come across a really cool unique piece. So I wanted to bring you guys along so I hope you enjoy this shop with me Arizona edition. Okay guys so we are starting on our shop with me experience in Arizona and you're gonna see a bunch of different goodies. There were so many to choose from and of course I had to be very picky and choosy on what items to get. I absolutely love grab bags and I always recommend that you guys do check them out because you're going to find a lot of goodies in a bag and it's going to be for such a low price. I kind of am kicking myself for not picking up this cute vintagey snowman, but unfortunately I did not. And I, what I've noticed about thrifting is there's always a plethora of Santas and snowmen. I don't know why, but it's like the most common things that I found all throughout different Goodwills in Arizona. mugs were absolutely adorable but I just passed up on them because unfortunately they did have a few cracks in the handle but they gave me so much Johanna Parker vibes and I just love them but I had to leave them behind. Thank you. 
Make sure to let me know in the comments below guys is there something that caught your eye in this whole shop with me experience there are so many goodies let me know if something caught your eye or that you would have purchased Make sure to stay tuned guys the haul is almost coming up if you want to see all the goodies that I got from Arizona make sure to keep watching were so cute these little mini cups that are all upside down figures but I did pass up on them and also this gorgeous nativity scene was so adorable I really loved it but I really didn't have a place for it so I did pass up on this one and there's just so many cute figures in this store I was so bummed out about this because I really fell in love with this little ceramic Santa boot but they only had one and I really really would have loved if they would have had two This Santa was still new with tag and it comes from Hallmark 
Can you believe that it used to be actually $49? And it was only $12.49 at Goodwill. That is so crazy. The haul is coming up right next, guys. It's finally here. Keep watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed that Shop With Me experience in Arizona. It's always a pleasure traveling out to Arizona. We're only like five hours away, five and a half hours or so here from California. So me and my husband usually always take out, you know, a weekend every few months just to check out what we find out there. And I'm really happy with the little pile that I brought back home with me. So of course, everything that you guys see in my videos when I do Shop With Me's doesn't necessarily mean I always pick up everything. I have to be very choosy on what items I decide to bring. One, they have to fit my aesthetic and the theme that I want to fit in for the holiday. And also, of course, price. Price, pace, you know, plays such an important factor because if not, if I brought everything I wanted home, then I would need a, like two cars because I have easily fallen in love with a lot of things. So anyway, for without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the haul. So the very first item that I have is this beautiful, I know you guys can't see it, it's just the picture, but this is from Ikea and I thought it was really cool. So it's a Strala Design Kevin Gurio um, and it's supposed to be like, I think a snow, like kind of like a snow globe, not a snow globe because there's no liquid in it, um, but just like a little scene, you know, like those light up scenes that you find in store and they light up and some of them have water that you push the button and they all start moving around with glitter. So I got this for $3.49. I'm not too sure how long ago this was that it came out. Um, here's a picture of how it looks like the actual dome with the little trees and house it's absolutely beautiful and it lights up so i thought it was a really good price for three dollars and 49 cents let me go ahead and take it out of the box Ooh, do not fall on me okay so this is made out of plastic and it's very very cute i love it it's so cute it did not come with the adapter it looks like it did came with like a, a power adapter that you can just plug in to the wall but it does run on batteries and this actually still has batteries in it so let me go ahead and turn it on so you guys can see that amazingness isn't it so pretty i absolutely love it it's like a little cabin in the woods and it has like a little heart on the door and then it has trees and then it's all illuminated so i thought this was really cute and i loved it i picked it up and it's so so cute so that's one of the items that i found i had like one halloween item that i'm going to show you guys i'm still kind of in the hunt for it um actually i have three with the johanna parker mugs that we found and next i have this grab bag so i always gravitate to the grab bags it's only two dollars and 49 cents for all these goodies in here and i always gravitate to the grab bags because one you get more for your money and two that's where a lot of the ornaments are placed into the grab bags because one ornament is like really small so having it out on the store you know on the sales floor it can be messy if a lot of them fall or break and it just makes more sense to make it into like a grab bag so that way you get more for your buck so i'm going to show you guys really quick the ones that are inside so again i'm going for a vintage christmas um but of course not everything is probably vintage in here i have this christmas bosch oh it, it, Christmas Boschmuck, it looks like. I'm so sorry if I completely mispronounced that. It looks like it used to be $3.50. I don't exactly know how old this is. I'll have to do a little bit more research. Um, but these were so cute. The little wooden figures. There's a snowman and Santa in here. Let's see what else. The reason why I kind of fall in, fell in love with this one is... Um, let's see, there's another one in here. Um... Hmm. 
I don't understand what this means. There's like this tag here with a bunch of numbers and phrases, but there's this cute little toy so well, I think it's supposed to be like a soldier or it almost looks like the guards from uh the from England. That was really cute, so I like that. And the reason why I got it was I'm gonna show you guys for this. Oh my god, this is so cute. This looks like it's a made in China ornament. It's absolutely it's like a little mouse with a Santa and it's holding little candy canes and it has a scarf. This looks very vintage, so I like that. This is why I like the grab bags because you get so many things in one little baggie. So this is the reason why I really wanted it. I thought these were so adorable. These are salt and pepper shakers, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. They are so adorable. I love it. Um, I don't know where they're originally from. There's like no tag or anything like that but I think these are so cute so I definitely had had to buy them because of that reason and let me see I think there's one there's like a, there's like a little bit of odds and ends as well like this um magnet so this looks like it's um tower bridge so this looks like it was from England so maybe someone who visited England and got that little ornament with a soldier then there's this, this little ceramic the Alamo um bell it says san antonio texas and then this i believe this is called a thimble and then it's hexham abbey so it looks like it might have been someone's trip to england and they donated some of the items so they were so cute i love it i just love grab bags and i have a bunch more grab bags that you guys are going to see on future videos next up i have a halloween item i don't necessarily know how old this is but it looks very vintage it looks like there used to be a gold tag here possibly made in china or taiwan or um japan but we won't know necessarily there's no maker or brand on it but it's this cute ceramic ghost it's absolutely adorable you guys this screams vintage i love it it's absolutely so adorable and i got this for three dollars and 49 cents but arizona was having a sale on halloween items and i snatched them up either on halloween day or on the saturday the saturday before halloween and they were doing i think it was um 50 percent off i believe on saturday and then halloween day was i believe 75 percent off so i definitely picked him up i thought he was really cute it has some paint chipped away and some of it scraped off but this is just really cute and i could not pass it up and then i also found this norman rockwell cookie canister now this is not very vintage but it looks vintage inspired this is actually a cookie canister it still has the tag from the cookies the nutrition facts and this is from 2004 it says con best consumed by june 1st 2004 so i'm thinking it's maybe around 2003 2004 this was three dollars and 49 cents it has santa and he is holding something please give me a drum tommy and then he has tommy's little gift the drum so i thought this was really cute it's really adorable ceramic and i just think this is so perfect with my vintage look for this year for christmas so i was very excited to find this it's so cute it says norman rockwell at the bottom so that was a cool find and then i also found this sign which i thought was really cute I don't know necessarily how old this might be, but it looks very old and vintage. And it says Noel, it has Santa etched and it's beautiful. I think this is made either out of wood, actual wood, or it might be resin. I'm not entirely sure. This was $2.49 and just look at the detail. Santa looks amazing and I thought this would be perfect. So I found this like a luminary. It's made out of ceramic. It's very, very fragile. So I'll have to be very careful. And it's like a candle and it was a dollar 49. But look at it. It's so beautifully like all of this is going to shine so perfect. The top flame is yellow. But if I put a tea light in here, it's going to look stunning. It's going to reflect all these lights throughout all the holes that you can see through the paint and the top oh my gosh i fell in love with it i thought it was perfect it's going to be perfect for something i'm going to create i'm trying to put like some type of um those wreaths that you can put on the bottom of candles that you can find like a dollar tree or something like that so i'll be doing that as far as a few mugs i found this really awesome one it's disney you guys know that i am a disney fan it says merry christmas 
And this is actually made in England. It says at the bottom, made in England. It has Huey, Dewey, and Louie. They are hiding behind the tree. And then they have Mickey as Santa and Pluto as one of his reindeers. And it looks absolutely adorable. It looks very vintage. It was only 99 cents. So I loved it. I picked it up. It's going to be perfect for my theme. Again, Christmas vintage is going to be my theme for this year. I also found a Ray Dunn mug. I found Mary, which I already have, but it was only $1.49. It looks like it was part of the gift set. And I thought, you know what? I'll just grab it up. I'll either put it into my shops to sell or I'll just have an extra one. You just never know. It might break, but beautiful. And I thought it's only $1.49, not bad. And then we actually um, found quite a few things as well i actually um well i'll show you guys actually in just a bit i have a few more mugs that i have i found sorry guys i'm like totally running out of room i found this beautiful mug which these sell very well on my shop it was only 99 cents and these are part of an anthropology collaboration with starla hoffman these are absolutely so gorgeous. I love these. They're monogram mugs. It's so beautifully detailed with the initial and the floral print. These do so well on my shop. They always sell when I list them. And let's see. This one reminded me so much of my Golden Retriever Bella. So I thought I couldn't leave it. I knew that I wanted something to have for the holidays to represent her. And I just fell in love with this little cutie. So it's a mug and it looks like I think this is supposed to be a Labrador or a Golden Retriever retriever it's so adorable it's a christmas mug and it has little red antlers on top and it was three dollars and 49 cents this is from sweet living collection i've never heard of that brand but i thought it was just so cute and i have something now that she can also be a part of my christmas collection so now i'll have something and i always think of her when i see it and then I also found another mug. Now, I haven't had any luck finding any of the Johanna Parker Christmas mugs, but I thought this would be really cute to add if I find them. So it's a penguin, I believe, and the handle is the um, little hat, the warm hat, like the bonnet or beanie. And it's holding like a snowflake. I think it's supposed to be like the wool things that you put in the middle of your hands to keep warm. And it has the scarf. And this is actually from Pier 1 Imports. It looks really brand new. Only $1.49. Love it. And also we did have the opportunity to stop by a few TJ Maxx and Marshall stores. And I found this beautiful red mug. It's Merry Christmas Ray Dunn. It was $5.99. This mug is absolutely so gorgeous. It's not the regular design mug with the shape. This is actually more shorter and rounder. So it's more kind of like a fat chubby mug. And I absolutely love it. It's so cute with the red. And oh my gosh, guys, I'm telling you. Now that Halloween is over, everything's like so much easier to find. If you've been following me again on Instagram, I just posted that I found a bunch of mugs at Ross here in California that were Johanna Parker. So while we were out there, we found another set. So this is another one that you guys have seen before. It's the little bat pumpkin peep and the vampire. These are so cute. I love them. My husband found them. Well, I found them. I found them, but he ended up purchasing them, but he ended up just giving them to me. So yay to hubby and then i found another one with the ghost and pumpkin and these were i believe regular price they were not discounted yet um because uh, halloween was not y happened yet we found these on saturday so it was before they put everything on sale after halloween so i thought these were really cool of course i already have them but i wanted them because it was really hard to find and who knows? You never know with these. These are really fragile and easily break. So it's always good to have a backup. Okay, my friends, that is the end of today's haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my shop with me session in Arizona. And I hope that you liked any of the goodies that you saw in my video. Let me know in the comments below. You guys know that I enjoy having our conversations down below. 
drop your comments below. Let me know what item was your favorite from this haul and share with me any thoughts. Do you guys travel out of state when you go thrifting? Do you think that it's a little bit crazy? Do you think that it's exciting, fun? Let me know your thoughts. I always like to hear what people think. It can be definitely very um, chaotic sometimes. That's why this time we ended up staying overnight because we usually would just do a one day trip and coming back and forth. It was, it was insane. It's insane when we do that, but this time I'm like, no, we have to take a break and actually enjoy it and not rush so much through it. So it was nice. It was nice to spend some time with my husband and have a great time doing what we love. So let me know in the comments below. Woo! You guys, I'm telling you, those ear pods kill me. Anyway. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below, guys. Share with me your thoughts. You guys know that I love to hear what you guys think. And as always, this is Daniel from Second Chance Love. And make sure you stay tuned. There's a lot more videos coming out soon. I'm going to be doing my holiday fall decor as well. So that's something exciting to come up. And I have something exciting to show you guys later on in the week. Until next time, this is Daniel, guys. Have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.